hello everyone you welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to show you how to wash bitter leaf but before then if today is your first day of stopping by in my channel you are most welcome and please don't go away without subscribing remember to turn on the bell so that you'll be notified each time i upload a new video in today's video i'm going to show you how to wash bitter leaf like i told you bitter leaf is a very sweet and delicious soup that can be eaten anytime it can be eaten with eba can be eaten with fufu can be eaten with wheat you can eat bitter leaf soup just as you like and so if you want to know how i wash this bitter leaf to this extent please keep on watching this video to the end as i'm going to take you into the farm that i cut this bitter leaf and also wash it so come as i'm going to take you into the farm you know, here in the village, it's not like township or cities where everywhere is sandy, sandy, sandy. Here in the village, you know, there are so many plants and some of the plants that are planted in our living areas are for so many reasons, which this is one of them that I'm showing you. So this is a snake plant that drives snakes away, far away from your vicinity or the area that you are living so this is a living house you can see this is my sister's house a can see cack. so it's good whenever or wherever you are building a house if you have this if you have access to all these snake plants you plant it so that there will be no snakes around your vicinity so guys this is another snake plant look at it Look at the way it is. It's just like any other plant, but this one is quite different from every other plant. This one is specially for snake. The purpose of this plant is to drive snakes away from your vicinity. You can see this is a living house. This is one of my sister's house, a Kantikak. So this plant is planted everywhere in the compound. This is one of it. Let me show you another one. This is another one here. You can see that it's very big. This is number two. There is also another one. Let me show you. This is another one here. This is the third one. And the fourth one is this one. Come and hold it for me. one so you can see that here in the village whenever they are building a house you know the village people knows the plant that usually drives snakes away from the vicinity so it is good whoever builds a house here you have to plant this snake plant so wherever you are you can source for this snake plant and plant it in your area that is if you see it too if you don't see it there's no problem but here we are so happy that god has shown this flower to us or this plant so anybody that build a house here in the village must plant this snake plant so that snakes can go away from your vicinity because it is the smell of this plant that drives snakes away the smell of this thing is somehow somehow it's very harsh very very harsh so whenever or wherever this snake plant is planted anywhere in your vicinity just forget about snake snake can never come near your area another thing too that drives snakes away from the vicinity is bitter cola but that one is you have to spray it in your living room can be your living room can be parlor can be kitchen everywhere you just drop bitter cola at the corner of your house so we are happy that we know all these things so you can use that and help yourself wherever you are so that is one of the reasons that we enjoy living in the village because even if you don't have an idea of the snake plant somebody will tell you or will remind you have you planted snake plants in your compound and with that you will quickly remember and go and look for it 
and plant in your compound. So it is very good. Wherever you are, if you have access to this snake plant, you can plant it in your compound. It is very good because it drives snakes away. So we don't eat it though. We don't eat it. So it's for snake. This is bitter leaf. For those of you that have not seen bitter leaf before, this is bitter leaf. So I'm going to plug it, wash, and then use it to prepare a delicious and tasty bitter leaf soup. This is how it looks like. So let's go and wash it. Look at the one that I've blocked so far. It's plenty. I'm going to cook all of this because I want it to be plenty. So I'm going to plug it. Normally before you wash your bitter leaf, you have to remove it from the stick so that it will be easier for you to wash. Hmm. Whenever you're plugging bitter leaf, you don't have to stay and be cutting it one after the other like this. This one is a waste of time. Yes, it's a waste of time. So. We don't do it like that. What you do, you just brush it down and then you remove it one way. <laughs> one way. See that the way I'm doing it is easier. So before you wash the bitter leaf, you have to rinse out the sand. You know this is village, so this is how we throw away water in the village. Wow. Uh -huh. So I'm going to start doing my work. Daddy is back. Show daddy. Go down. Show daddy. Tell daddy to greet my people. Mm. Good day, my children. <laughs> God bless you. My in law is back. This is my sister's husband, Nekanzika. So mm. this is a Tenzika. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> God bless all of you. Hey. You're welcome. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Whenever you're washing the leaf, you don't need plenty oil. You can see that there is no oil in this bottle, but it's still going to serve the purpose because we need just a drop. Even though it can't come out, but I still squeeze my hand inside and then use it to rub my hand just to cut off the food <clears throat> it's going to work it's going to cut off the food
look at the farm, they are looking for what to eat. <laughs> So I'm going to use knife and cut it. Sometimes some people don't like cutting it, but I like cutting it because I'm going to use it to cook right in here. So I have to cut it. I'm going to wash this bitter leaf the last time. It is very clean now. Thank you, my dear. We thank God. <laughs> You're welcome. Yes, my long time. Yes, so really a long time. Mm -hmm. I said, let me come and pluck a tiro today. Okay. And wash. I'm going to use it to prepare delicious. I, I think that's a uh, bitter leaf and uh, water leaf. No, uh, yes, I'm going to use water leaf and the bitter leaf. I will not put the uh, melon. Melon. No, I'm not going to use yeah, that. That's my best. Mm. I don't want to feel like eating a bitter leaf. Mm. 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 Yeah. Come, like come and stand this side so that you see the two of us. <laughs> well done, man. Thank you. So, if I'm, as I'm going to prepare this, I'm not going to add melon. No, only what I need. Mm -hmm. Only what I need. Mm -hmm. Yes. Fish and fish. Anything and you uh, have. Anything goes. Yes. So, guys, I'm sure you have seen how I wash this bitter leaf. You can see it is very fresh. This is what I'm going to use to add with water leaf and prepare a tasty and delicious bitter leaf soup. Today's post notification shout out goes to For you to earn a shout out, make sure you subscribe to my channel, turn on post notification when you subscribe so that you will not be left out whenever I upload a new video. Also be the first to comment and get a shout out in my next video. See you in my next video. Bye!